they have to remember. Right? So you guys have your own uh, drawing tablet with you there, right? I think we see it. So what basically we need to go and try there, right, is as we actually work with our drawings, okay, if you take a look at my kind of setting right now, right, here, if you check back again, okay, I have a few uh, pictures also that I choose from the last previous kind of uh, lessons there, right? Okay, I choose also one of the pictures, this is from the uh, first session that we did. Okay. okay, for our first week kind of drawing test exercise here, right? So one of the reasons I'm giving also uh, an exercise based on the human figures there because I want to I want you guys to have also build the experience to develop understanding how to draw right human being right human is very uh, what we call that complex kind of what we call that. Anatomy of figures there, human, animal, celebrity. And I'm probably not there actually drawing tigers yet, already. But if you take a look at the process of working here, all right, the workflows are going to be the same. Okay, remember that. Always add new layers, reduce the opacities, uh, go into gradient map to change the gradients over here, all right? So all these kind of basics kind of what we call that setting before you're going to work with your exercise has to be uh, set really well there, okay? You have to set really well there, otherwise, you, you won't be able to work in the right way. You add new layers, okay? It's a simple thing there, I think. Just add click the layers over there. Even though, okay, I'm using different kind of versions, basically, the methods of working are going to be the same. Of course, interface okay for for the new version is quite looks a bit more like exclusive here, right? The black colors, dark colors, right? Okay, okay. it's very look like exclusive a bit here, okay? So we can go through back again with okay, the brushes tools, okay? The first thing that I saw from your kind of exercise that you did last week, all right? Anyone who haven't seen uh, what we call the Sunday exercise here? Okay, the first thing that we see, okay, of course, the brush that I use basically is uh, not, it's not basically a hard round brush there, right? the hard round brush, right? Hard round brush there, right? okay? If you see the use brown brush, okay, for your standard brushes there, please check back again the sizes there, right? Okay, I change it to eight sometimes, depending there. It's all depending there, okay? Because sometimes new versions, right, the latest version of Photoshop that they actually are built, okay, they have a certain kind of adjustment there, okay? That's how the technical side, okay, I, I can't actually explain. Uh, quite detail on that, right? Okay, but but what I've noticed, right? Okay, the size coming to be different there. So that means if you ask me, okay, what are the convenient kind of size that we can actually use to draw there? Okay, my kind of suggestions. I'm normally when I use those brushes to draw there, okay, I think around ten to eight or sometimes seven size. Okay. Depending there, because you have, you need to have this kind of chemistry or, or comfortable kind of way of working with your own brush there. Right? Okay, everyone has maybe a different kind of way, but it doesn't mean sometimes that you use the brush is going to be right. Okay, because I saw some of the students use a very tiny kind of brush there. Okay, so they, it's very tiny kind of brush there. One of the reasons is because my kind of assumptions, they're right. Uh, she's quite afraid to, to make mistakes when they press the strokes there. I'm not saying it's wrong, 
I'm not saying it's wrong though, I think, but the main objective of our exercise here is to develop the strokes. If you use very tiny, right, small brushes like this, it hardly we can see the line and strokes there. Alright? That's why I'm around you. If you use around seven, then you can see more there, right? Hey, the strokes there. You can see that, right? The quality of stroke that we want to work on that. Okay, one of the things that I always do, this is the thing that that have been taught with me, right? Okay, for me, right? Okay? Personally, from my lectures that my guru is there, okay? His name is uh, Professor Azamanan, right? Okay? He's a sculptor. Okay? Now around 50 something, like right? So he told me, okay, how actually I'm going to build up basically my confidence when I draw, right? Okay? We want to be developed the confidence when we draw, right? Okay? So he told me, okay, if you draw using pen, for example, or pen, right? Okay? Not drawing pen that time, right? Okay? Right now in sketchbooks. Just scribbling something like this. Do something there, right? Okay? Whatever that you think that you want to draw, okay? what? just scribbling like this. Right? But you try to develop also some pressure point, okay? Some areas you press a little bit, some areas you make a release there. But just scribbling something, there, right? Do whatever that you want, right? Just practice it. Don't simply draw without focusing on the okay sometimes i press that right? so you see sometimes i let loose a bit there, right? you told me right you just do this thing do this exercise a lot right? in your sketch books then you will you will find the the the, the tune the flows there right okay the, the, the connections that the coordination that you want to control your mind there, i think those are one of the Exercise that go. So that means when we actually do this exercise, because we actually have foundations to the right there. And we draw whatever I want, the right words there. Right. So I get that idea there. At, at, at a few stage, I don't actually realize that. Okay? For example, I want to draw something using this kind of line. I need to draw eyes, for the right. Nose. Because our lesson basically were not uh, only to uh, to develop basically entire uh, perfect drawings all the time. So, right? It's just like a doodle kind of drawing. So, right? We study basically deep into the aesthetical value of art, understanding and coordination. So, okay? If you just look here right now, okay? It looked like a very messy, uh, what we call it, doodle kind of line drawing. But there is a aesthetical art form element principle of design that made by this drawing. All right. Layman basically don't understand that. Okay? If you don't actually came to to have a formal study to learn about multimedia graphic design or art and design, okay. People don't appreciate this kind of drawings. People wouldn't appreciate that. But in this modern era, this can be a part of the styles of illustrations. Remember that, right? Okay? Remember what I said, the styles of illustrations there. But even though uh, established artists, right, or, or not artists, like right, the cartoonists, right, okay, that I actually have been friends again, okay, contact before. When I start to draw something more like this, okay, uh, right? Maybe I draw like this, okay. They don't understand what basically the drawing is all about. Yeah. He told me that, okay, you can draw well, but, but why actually draw like this? Yeah. Okay, a lot of people, right, most of the people they right, don't understand that why. Because when they actually learn as a self-taught artist, right, uh, some of you guys also have this kind of feeling there. All right. When you guys actually learn by yourself there, not learning formally, uh, uh, what we call that, taking 
a formal class of education, the high kind of education in, in any kind of art university or college there, okay? You will think this kind of problem is quite ridiculous. Because why? Because your kind of understanding is one can if you want to draw, right? This one. For example, right? This one. This is what you actually have meant. Right. I want to show you guys also back to this kind of way, this kind of because people make a lot of mistakes here. A lot that I when you when you start to draw using those tablets. But so they always go into the same routine all the time. Please directly. Before basically I'm going to ask individuals to okay, when your son of your works we you do back again please don't go into that kind of problem okay what we're going to experience this week all right not only this week I right, think okay, is to develop your skills using those observation exercises all right you see my hand there right okay and I move my hands here I'm using a very continuous line drawing there, right? but this exercise will test your analytical kind of studies there. You see, your, you can see my hands there, right? When I draw, analytical kind of studies and your kind of understanding to develop. All right, your way of controlling your hand. I think I've shown you guys also. I don't know where the last week that I did your second. If you close these pictures, there right. you can see the quality of line that I can start to work on that. The lines are a little bit more like you draw rather than tracing. You're not tracing those drawings there. Some people say, oh, this is tracing there, no. I'm drawing them back. Uh, some phrase that we always get it from the line of here is quite. Pain the right way, the rim the right way. How I can control the hands. Right. Controlling the hands there. Control Z all the time there. Maybe you can actually change also the size. Depending on the way that you're going to work with those line there. Why we change it? This line doesn't have to be pressed directly. Stop a little bit. Okay. Stop a little bit there. You only draw what you see, don't draw something that you can't see directly. When you finish, basically, you can see all these kind of details there. Curve line, okay, all these kind of drawings, right? All these kind of things, I can zoom in. All right, draw one step at a time there, right? One stroke at a time there, see? If I make a mistake, I control Z. You don't use any kind of fancy kind of tools to get the strokes right, because remember one thing, this is not digital illustrations classes, but it's more into fundamental illustrations drawings. That means everything has to be drawn with our hands there. If some people are like, okay, if you heard some of the people say that, okay, oh, drawing is a bit easy, it's easy there, right? Okay, it's easy there, I think just uh, everything is computed there. Right, it's not that hard, or maybe there is no, not originals there. Those are the words that I know only people say that. 
not originals that way. Because you're not drawing using using computers there, but you have to explain one thing. Even though I'm using computers, hmm, but I'm still using my hands there to draw, just like traditional drawing set. Right. So if I want to render these areas, right? Soft kind of rendering using the same kind of directions there. Same kind of direction. Don't cross over that yet, right? Some people actually try to cross over like this, become by like a hashtag there, right? Okay? Right? Or maybe you want to play this kind of game so I know that right again. Okay? Don't work on that. Okay. So try to draw to, to delete the right day and then select this area using lasso and press delete. Alright? Other than using erases that it works. But if you take it closely there, right? See the line right there. Even though the line here is not that good. Alright. So I just simply work on that because I just want to give a bit kind of what we call that. And See the way I move my hands here? Control that that way, okay? I want to have the feel of using basically traditional kind of way of drawing here. But if you saw, if you have watched uh, most of the videos that I created okay, for last uh, few classes there, you can see some sort of like different kind of methods also that I actually use there. Especially in the continuous line drawing, contour line drawing. Either any kind of both kind of technique that I use, just like a sketch line drawings like this. Right. Take a look here. All right. When I move my hands, look like I'm using a like time slap kind of speed kind of painting. It's not there, right? I'm using basically a normal what we call that an actual kind of streaming live there are sessions here to draw. So that means you can see basically that I draw right entirely using the way of working right in the real sessions here. Right when I move my hand. Of course you want it can actually reduce a bit the size. And then get the stroke very tiny there. This one basically, if you use the standard hot round brushes there. Let's just say that you want to use some of the brushes like Carl uh, Ultimate Brush, but of course I didn't have here because if I install also uh, that Carl Ultimate Brushes, I won't be able to get because it's not for this version. It's this old version. I'm using all Media Red Pro brush, okay, like nine or ten point already. I have the same thing there. Stroke that I can. Try to zoom in a little bit and get the strokes right. This. Okay. Yeah, if you close, you can see the quality of the drawing itself. This is the one that we want, we are looking for basically for our exercise. Right? Okay. You guys understand that? Don't draw like this one there, right? I saw some people draw like this. Try to combine all those lines there together. Right? One of the drawings that I actually really re recommend you guys to use is control line drawings. There, right? Never take off those pen when you draw. See? This is also one of the good problems. We're not actually pressed a lot when it's using this kind of drawing line. Right? Okay. Zoom out, uh, what we call that, press a little bit there. Uh, move around, okay, this line using the space bar directly. Right move. Yeah, repeat a bit, back again. Right. See? Right. This is also one of the good example of 
a good kind of exercise. For every student to practice them, to develop the analytical kind of understanding. Because before this, when you see these pictures, they're right. See the different drawings here? This is what we call, this is maybe, uh, we can call this cash line drawings. Cash line drawing. This one is more like control. Line drawing. My kind of advice, you want to be good to, to handling just like driving there, right? handling basically your cars there, I think. Same goes to this one. How to handling your tablet pen, pressure lines in the right way. Okay? okay when it comes to draw also, this guy there, I think. Normally, when we draw, okay, we just simply see from this. Call that understanding that you you will draw like this, right? This is what people always look like, right? You don't see any kind of analytical kind of understanding detailing there. What I did basically, okay, I can see even though the picture is not that clear there, right? Okay, but I'm going to handle it basically there. We draw the pictures a little bit more like this, there, right? See? So this is the highlight, this is the shadows area, this is the ears there. While we draw, basically, what we need to do is to analyze, okay? Some of the areas are like ears, right? We are going to change the way we're moving our hands. I'm not going to use a wavy kind of line, right? Okay? Take a look here. Even though you can see basically what is that, right? Okay? I think, right, this guy basically closed his eye there. Right? Maybe this picture basically is not that. I just give this picture just to test, okay? But I do agree this picture is not that suitable for you to. Use basically entirely for the reference lab, right? But I just simply give you guys just to have a different kind of experience there. Okay, what I did basically right now is to show you guys how basically an experience not only skills there that we develop along the way will give us a lot of advantage, this way, okay? advantage. What I did right now is try to define between light and shadows kind of lines there. Remember, we're still in the line drawing kind of study here. Right? One of the elements of design. Right? One of the most important elements of design right? to draw the hands. Okay. okay. This is what basically experience we overcome basically back again your kind of understanding when we draw. Right, the difference between my drawing and yours later on but based on my experience there. And I like I said before, this is a very good kind of exercise for zero knowledge of a sin, right? If you say to me, I never draw before, sir, right? Or I do not have the skills yet. This is basically one of the good examples or one of the good exercise that you will experience how to draw better. Too. Basically, fundamentally, there, I Because Later on, if I want to teach you guys, if we're going to teach you guys basically 
how to draw from basic structures there are. But if you cannot control the the strokes really well, it's really hard for you to to draw or have the understanding to understand about it. For example, if I ask you to draw from basic structures there everyone directly, from circles like this, okay? Take a look how actually I draw the basic structures there. Right? The way they actually move my hands, not the quality of these drawings only there, okay? You see that? So uh, alignment between line uh, between lips, nose, eyes there, right? All these kind of the hair structures there. Take a about take a look how actually I sketch the line there, okay? If you don't have this kind of understanding there, right? to draw, uh, to, to to construct your line there, right? you see? You have more hands here. There you will have a lot of difficulty. This is the the achievement that we want to have from every student when they sketch out their line. Okay? But if you cannot actually get this kind of line, you still draw like this one, right? You still draw like this. You don't know what basically what to do there, okay? You don't have the the attention is to develop your understanding on coordinate your right? your hands really well there. The whole lesson basically uh, failed. Okay. So you can see the difference of the line I think. Because the main objective is right now. Everyone should get this kind of strokes there in line by using a reference that to works. And then we develop the understanding on the alignments, on the proportions, the basic structures there for every single form they write. Okay? Even though if you ask, if I ask you guys to draw, uh, we have the exercise before there, right? Uh, draw the basic shapes there. Form. Yeah. Triangle there, or, or cone there. Right? Start with this one in line. Start the code. Right? Start to draw square from this basic structure there. For example, here. We want to get this kind of line and strokes there. Draw the circles there. Or draw basically from the circles line there. They want to train the guys to develop this kind of way of sketch the line there. So if you can get the right kind of way to sketch, easy for you guys to sketch anything with you want. Because we built the foundation there first, the foundations there, to build up the house, cars, buildings. Need a foundation is there. So this foundation is not strong. Don't imagine yourself to draw any kind of characters or manga characters later on now. Okay? Because you're not actually built the foundations in the right way. Okay guys? You really understand about it? We, we want to build up the foundations there. Those are the most important thing that we want to build from now on. Okay? So, please focus on that. Because by the end of the sessions, okay, by the end of the evaluations, the mark that will be given will be based on How far basically you can improve yourself. 
the progressions there. That means each week, each exercise that you did, you need to show basically the, the progress. If you take this right now directly, most of the students have an actually complete all those works there. Right. Hopefully the rest of the works that most of the people actually have done should be work from here. Alright. So take a look. I think let's see, take a look at some of the work that we've done from your camp. Alright. So far, any questions, I guess? <coughs> this one from which groups? Group two. Or group two. All right. And maybe this guy there, did this person basically right, did not have those tablets yet? Did they he draw entirely using those cash, right? Did pages right? hopefully when when if you start to draw using this tablet right later on you can see the difference there okay but if you take a look at these kind of drawings what are the mistakes there the way that he actually Rendered basically the shadow slime, the proportion of course, la, they out of proportion. So. It looked like a Picasso kind of drawing, so, like, skew kind of edges or, or line, I think. But this is the, the normal kind of standard kind of skills of student that we get, right? Okay, when they really draw, but I'm not saying that he cannot draw. He has a control, but only some inexperience only directly. Inexperience. Did you guys saw my my earliest drawings when I was like your age? And I and I actually right uh, been what do you call that? Been appointed to to uh, to be part of the art school there. I think. Have you saw my drawings before? Huh? No, uh, you haven't seen it. I mean, you haven't seen the video, the previous video, uh, right? That I showed to the students there. All right. Where is it? You guys can see the screen there, right? All right. Uh, okay. I want to show you guys basically. Uh, like I like to keep right some of the things in this. It's again because now this is really this is a part of my online portfolios other than those behind there, right? Other than my activities there, right? Again, I want to show you guys a bit. Uh, basically, my previous kind of this is uh my earliest kind of drawings that I actually have. Okay. Right, this is one of my drawing basically when I was 18, 19 years old, just like your age, right? Just like your age. Using pen drawing, you can see the basically how actually I branded the head. Right? Obviously, basically it's a it's an amateur, right, kind of way of handling basically a drawing pen that works. Right? So, so basically this line there, right? Okay? This is for around 17, 16 years old there, right? Okay? When I draw that. Okay? You can see the line there, right? You can see the line there. Right? So obviously it's a naive kind of line there. Try to draw something using, I think, pencil or ball pen. I can't remember that right there. I think the ball pen, right? Okay? But have a very naive kind of stroke there. The standard kind of one, right? The proportion is so wrong there, right? Okay? 
we seen pencil drawing, drawing from imagination there, drawing these trucks, some interiors there, right? Back in the days, I always love to imagine to draw something like if I have a big truck one day, maybe like this is when I was like a teenager. So I imagine that the truck have a room, bed, or okay, this kind of thing. But you can see the line there, right? Okay, the line and stroke is quite naive there. All right, this is the different things. Right? This is something that I actually worked and improved when I was like your age. Right? When I start to learn formally, first semesters, all right, a few weeks in, in art and design, okay? I'm learning pre diploma kind of courses there. So we have around two semesters, one year there, okay, pre diploma there, okay? So I've learned a lot of skill in developments and, and, and aesthetical kind of understanding there how to develop our creative kind of way of thinking and process the right thing. So if you take a look at these drawings here, using pencil and this one, it's totally different there. Even though there's a lot of things that that not that good, okay, but at that time, I will feel really, really satisfied with these drawings here at the time. Why? Because they have a different kind of quality of line as well. So I can control the prices well. Right? This one is not based on it, based on purely imagination, but I draw this one were based from uh, what you call that. I go to the lake there right there and I draw some of the trees and then I try to imagine the tree is floating there right there. It is that, right? So I draw also some trees, more trees, some of the building from my, if I call that UITM, basically, there are right some sort of like uh, buildings, the main buildings, campus, there are. Right. This is also from the earliest, there right are. See the way I draw that right The line also have a very hesitant kind of line of movements there. Even though I didn't, I didn't actually sketch, I draw entirely based from using those uh, writing pen, or right? ball pen that works there, right? Okay? And this is something that I draw from comics, right? Okay, from I take from the reference comics and draw back the tape. Because I want to test the line, but I sketch first the line first. Okay, I sketch also all the line at first, okay, before I ink those lines back okay. So I did a lot of my personal exercise there, okay, when I actually draw there, right? Okay. You see the line over here, right? Okay, a lot of a messy kind of line, it is pretty thin kind of line, there, right? But uh, this is only a practice line drawing uh, using the small pen, right? More exercising on the line drawings, different kind of dot kind of tones and color using those poster colors there. Right? This is my personal kind of uh, routine that I did. Basically, if I'm not doing my assignments there at the time, there, my first first and second semesters, left, right? First and second semesters, kind of what we call the activities that I have, right? And this is the thing that I've improved, right? Uh, when I was like because this drawing is, is basically based from my senior years, okay? After a few years, I actually developed my skills, right? From the same exercise that I give you guys there, it's not okay, because that's why I, I, I give those lessons, those exercises, not based only from books there, okay? Or any kind of art school that I've been going through there, okay? But also from my experience there, that I actually have trained myself. I've trained myself working with that exercise, okay, uh, after all these years, for my entire life, that actually, that actually changed me a lot. Right? So I just show basically back again how I actually ran it, those drawing, but it's basically, it's a, it's a fast kind of way of what we call that 
hand slaps kind of drawings there. But I just want to show the quality that I actually been going through there, okay? From this drawing into this one. Okay? Those are the changes that basically I've, I've made. Okay, the process of learning and working with those uh, exercise there. Right. If you want to saw or oh, discard, I, I, I just want to show you guys basically back again. Uh, this is basically for my students' works already, that we did the same exercise but manually. Right? Manual drawings there, right? You see there. Because to be good at what you do, you have to practice every day. There's no such thing as a shortcut way, right? If you ask me, I think there is a shortcut way to do draw, to develop your skills. Um, I would say no, there. Right? And this is some of the drawings from the students there, okay? From dry media subjects, graphic design there. I think they actually have graduated, okay? So you can see some different kind of progress there, okay? From the student itself. Right? From the student itself there. So this is what we call the blind drawing exercise, continuous line drawings. Then we did some observation drawings, more details, some rendering and etchings there, right? Some shading kind of lines, right? So until we we develop more and more kind of skills that it works okay along the way. It's a it's a very long process, but you also have 14 weeks to complete, right? But I really push a lot from there, right? I really push a lot there from there. Manually there, I think. This is more like a dry dry video drawing the exercise there, right? Doing some character design manually basically. Okay. From the previous, um, this is my demonstration for them. Okay? Because I refine like a cable drawing so using manual traditional kind of methods of working there. Right? So that's why I say okay, I draw a lot. Okay? This is some of my small sketchbooks in ball pen during the meeting right, a few years back. This is me okay? when I was working with some of the organizations. So I never stopped drawing. I never stopped drawing. So what I can say to you guys, 16 drawings, 16 kind of drawings is not that. It's not that. Uh, enough. That you have to go through more. You have to grow more. Okay? Always, always, right? Right? Try to try to develop a little bit kind of your own routine there, okay? Your own routine there, all right? Try to develop your own routine, all right? In order to develop the skills. Because what we're heading for basically is not only this exercise there. There's a lot more kind of exercise that we have to go through in order to develop your illustration skills. The only thing that we have right now, right, because the good thing about it, you have two lessons, uh, two sessions that we have for your subjects or for your courses that related to illustrations, a core subject, right? Okay? Introductions and digital there. So that means when it comes to digital in the, in, in the next semester, right, what we actually plan, you guys have, have the experience that we want. Develop your skills in the last session. So later on, if you want to draw like digital caricatures, for example, there, right, okay, digital caricatures, you can easily actually work on that. Like this is one of the exercise that we did for our digital illustrations there, right? Right, digital illustrations there, right? So you don't have 
a lot of issues or problems later on. Okay, I did also some of the demonstrations here in our class. There, okay, with the line drawings there, right? More kind of exercise in digital illustrations here. Okay. So you won't be able to have a lot of hot time left. Okay, mm -hmm. you draw them, all right? Some of the drawing landscapes. Okay. This is all the digital illustrations kind of subjects. Okay. So if you have read it yourself, you actually have get ready to yourself to work with those this kind of tools there. You won't be able to have a hard time there. Okay? Digital caricatures kind of work there. Okay. Using the reference that you work, combine them using like photo image manipulations kind of works there. Okay. And of course, what are, one of the most important thing is you can design your own characters there. Right, you can design your own characters here. Those are the most important thing. And use the tools that we have. Okay, these tools that I use, right? This brush that I use, right? This came from uh, the new versions. Right? We have the watercolor based brushes in Adobe Photoshop there that can have this kind of effects that look like a watercolor technique there. Right? Hmm? right? So those are things. Those are the most important things that you need to build yourself there already right? and of course okay this is some of the basic exercise okay in illustrations i'm using a lot of my reference easy for us to work there right? all right so those are the things that right? develop basically your skills on it this is one of the students kind of works okay students kind of works there eh? Right. Evaluations there are okay. on dry media classes. So those were basically what 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 I've been trained the student right here. But of course, okay, if you take for granted, okay, if you just not take serious on the exercise that we did. Right, the losers is used there. Right, simple as that. Right? Okay, you'll find a lot of hard way that it works, and you find difficulties a lot later on when you want to proceed your your assignments there. Right, the assignments that we need to do there right? okay? along the way. Right? Because the sketches, the line drawing, the techniques has to be improved a lot from time to time there. Right? So far, any questions about our lessons, about our exercise for this week? We got 16 drawings that to complete. All right. So like this one there again. Okay. Who is this? Group five, okay. Ching. Yong Ching, there, right? Okay. Yong Ching is here. All right. If you take a look at this one or two exercise that she did here, this is a starting point that to work there, right? Okay. Using the soft brushes, line run, you can see the brush strokes over there, right? Okay, good. good. Even though right, there's a few things we can improve there, without, I can saw that she can handle the line and strokes there. But the thing is, right now, develop more and more on the skills from that, right? From time to time. Okay. Controlling the strokes well, brush strokes well, that works there. Okay, Yong Ching, you hear there, right, Yong Ching? Yes, yes. All right. How do you feel that using those tablets? Have you used this tablet before? No, this is the first time. First time you're using it, right? Yes. Okay. What brush is that you use right now then? Uh, for the outline, I use pen. I don't know what name is it. Okay. Make sure you make sure you recognize the pen, uh, the, the name of the brush, eh? because, yeah. because once you actually have use those 
brushes if you feel comfortable with it, right? At the moment, you can maintain the record, but if you can find different kind of brushes line, okay, like this one is a, a nice line there, right? This, this, this one are the good brushes there. If you can recognize the brushes, please, uh, what we call that, uh, stay right with that brushes, okay, for a few moments, right? Or, or you can actually use as part of your your choice of brushes that you use later on for every single kind of strokes and line that you want to draw there, okay? And then when you come to shadings, there's a lot of uh, what we call that shading brushes that you can use, okay? Like soft brushes, paint brushes, uh, what I did basically, I mixed them up together, there, okay? So those kind of shadings basically, at the moment, I'm not actually quite uh, worried there, okay? Or for the students there. Why? Because shadings can be developed okay, when you actually understand the direction between light and shadows. The problem that we have a lot with the students and they draw, all right? And for example, like this one, if I want to paint using Okay, let's just say that I want to use right, wet sponge brushes now because wet sponge brushes is more like a transparent brush, right? even though we have a few brushes there already. Right? Let's just say I'm using wet sponge brushes, but I'm going to reduce the opacity around 3%. Okay, 3% here. You test your brushes at this, alright? That's also your, right, I'm going to use gradient already. Right? Normally, I'm going to use more light kind of, more lighter kind of, uh, what we call that, uh, colors there, right? Eh? Values there, tone there, right? Eh? Make it more blending. Because if you take a look, eh, if you use pure black, uh, they look a bit more like, a, not that smooth there, right? Eh? If you use light colors that you can see, right? Eh? You can blend it up more. This is one of the choices that I have for my for my brush, okay? Standard brush that I use, okay? So take a look here. All right, if I want to take back, okay, the brush of liner, okay? It's a little hard to see from here. What I can do, I can actually use a grayscale tone, right? You can see here the colors over here. Can I use it? All right. So what I can do is to study the shades and shadings there, right? What we can do here, take a look here right now. And I can change the size of it there. Right, using those, uh, controlling on those. On those key there, right? Then I'm going to adjust a little bit. And draw a bit more there, right? On the tone. Even though you can see there, right? Maybe I change back to white color. Huh? Right. Particularly here. Get confused, huh? Right. And I paint the brushes line there, right? It's close there. It's not that hard, basically, if people want to learn shading there. See the way I paint it, right? Eh? I move my hands, not entirely based on the same strokes there. I press a little bit, control the pressure line there to capture basically the shadings and shadows. See? As long as you understand how to control the the right kind of way of handling the strokes there, right? First. Okay. 
dua siswa ni ada sih dapat share itu. That's why I said, okay, learn about shading is not that hard. But learning to control the line, you have, you need to have basically your own moment there, okay, that you want to feel basically the, the flows, right? See, I'm changing basically the the sliders of the uh, volumes, okay, value of tone, there, right? a bit more lighter, okay. If you want to ask me technically, okay, or specifically, okay, how, how many percent I got, I said, okay, to, to change that. Right? If you learn basically color studies later on, if you, you know, okay, the monotonous of those tone, there, okay. Uh, I know whether we have around here the, the color styles. No, not the color styles. There. Okay, colors for it there, okay? And this is a monotonic kind of tone that you work with. Mm. If you want to choose this one, okay, as a part of your way of learning the value of tones, as long as you choose the flows, I think you can just can cast it, okay? The better, I guess can be used there. But if you ask me, that I get a shortcut already. Uh, this is basically my shortcut way of, of working with those uh, tone values. Okay? When we actually move our hands to color the shadows of those muscles, okay? based on the flows of the muscles there, uh, that's how it actually we go. Right? <coughs> Sorry. So when you actually can control your line or shape or, or precious line and strokes there, right? Easy for you to to get the forms right. Form. The form basically the shadows right. Just a little bit more of that kind of close. So basically I show you guys okay uh, two different kind of way of using color steam already, color code there. One, using colors there, sliders, is a bit more freestyles there already. Because I love to use this uh, freestyles of working because it gives me a bit more more choices there. Of my own choices of way to presenting my kind of values of tone for my drawings there, right? for my illustrations. Drawings and illustrations there. If you click there, okay, close the pictures, there you can see the, the shadows are. Right? Shadows are. Right? Even though the colors right, it's not that blending, there, okay? don't worry, it's there. Right? Don't learn all these kind of shadings and blending all the time, okay? Then later on, you will find a lot of hot time to shade back to it. But if you have the very good kind of quality of line, yes. The blending of shadings basically is a part of the uh, to support basically our line drawing to support our own the whole illustrations. Those are basically the ideas of develop first the skill of line drawings before you can achieve it. Just like Walking there, right? Okay? Learn to walk in there, right? Okay? Don't run there, okay? Don't only run there, okay? Learn to walk first there. Okay? Unless you have the determination, so you get a lot of confidence that you work, okay? Entirely, right? Okay? Struggling and, 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 and develop also your skills. Right, and sacrifice a lot of your times. No head. Anyway, I move my hands there to draw these areas here. If I close this one, oh, I draw on top of this area there. Okay, now check back again in layers. I'm going to draw. So, uh, when I draw the, the shots there, right? 
see the way I control my hands here and I draw okay, the, the suggestions on the line over here so those are basically the the beauty of the drawing that we want to have okay, the, for the legs and tie there right if I can see right here increasing it back again then I make it wrong See where I can throw my hands here to, to draw basically the entire of the muscles there. So render a bit already. This one if I using a sketch line drawing, so I render a bit the process over here. To show basically the, the form basically and shadows kind of suggestions line. Right. Right. After we learn about shadings next week, right, basic shadings, right? Then we learn basically go back into basic structure. Okay? So this is shadow sign. Right? I'm going to draw the shading for the shadow line using the same kind of direction that we want. So what are the most important things that you have, you have to work, okay? Well, basically, is a is a line drawing, right? Not only a shading, but line drawing, right? okay? I've got to show basically my hands that it works. Okay, guys. So practice your line drawing. You practice your line drawing something else. Just now, can you see the the the, the screen share that I showed? You can see it right. The screen share is not right. Huh? Right. Okay. Good. So, do I have any questions? No? Uh, teacher, yes. teacher, so for this week, uh, do we need to shade the picture, the drawings? Mm, I'm not recommending it just to work, but if you want to go for it, go ahead. Okay, thank right? you, teacher. Yeah, because for me, to develop your skills, uh, don't restrict yourself directly. Don't restrict yourself and say, okay, let's just say I'm using the line right in the middle, right? But if you want to push a little bit more, go ahead. Right. As long as when you learn about the shadings, they will benefit your understanding more. Right. Make sure they can benefit your understanding more. Though. Those are the main objective of our learning process. Right. It's not because um, I only speak, okay, everyone do this kind of things, not like that. The only thing that I don't want to see from your line is this one. This one there. Right? This is the one that I really, really want you guys to avoid, okay? When you draw the line. We have also a few kind of drawings that I did before with other classes there, right? Mm -hmm. Where is it? You draw the dots there, right? This is some of the low understanding. This is the right way to, to draw, draw the dots there, right? Here. This is the line drawings that we did for the dot itself. There. Right? To get the comfortable kind of methods of handling your hands and tools, right? is by testing your hand drawing using those tablets there or you sign back in your names there okay when you can sign your names comfortably there right okay that means you can draw as simple as that okay as simple as that so if you can actually sign your name 
Did you say what kind of thing, what, what kind of numbers that you want to draw? What kind of, uh, what you call that symbol that you want to draw? If you can sign your name confidently, that means you can draw. Unless you draw like, you, you sign your name like this. Huh? Uh, this is not the right way. Okay? This is more like a tagging there. Right? When you sign, you have the, you have that quality of line there. Okay. The quality of line that you want to see from those strokes there. Right? Those are the things that we want to look into our drawing. Okay. So about your attendance, okay, don't you guys worry there. I will double check back again right later on. Right? And I'm going to take those names. Okay. Okay, you have any, if you don't have any questions, okay, we can actually dismiss early there. Okay, but if you have anything that you want to ask me or show me right okay, the progress, okay, I think some of the students or friend there, okay, uh, actually have shared with me also the her work basically, right? Okay? So she also basically has do a very good kind of progression. I saw some of the students we have shared with me, okay? A very good kind of progress there, okay, on the work. So. See, very good kind of progress on the exercise itself. Okay, right? So please send me your progress or your, your samples okay, directly also you can already. So I can let actually see okay whether you actually have go through in the right kind of directions or not. Okay? Don't be shy to show you okay, because this is your opportunity to learn and try in the right way. If you have the skills, good. Right. Push yourself more, expose yourself more to gain more recognition on the marks itself directly but for those who have the beginning process don't be shy to show your progress there because the most important thing right now that we want to learn right we want to learn all right okay okay thank you very much guys okay for having me today all right um hopefully